In the following example, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to take uh, a YouTube video, but actually anything that uses the iframe method for embedding, and how to put that into your web page so that it responds to the size of the browser. So taking our previous video as the example, we see it up on YouTube, and when we scroll down, we can see share. And if we press on embed, it gives us the iframe. Now I do control and paste to take that. And then back in Dreamweaver, we'll see in the source code that we've got the wrap div here. So I'm just going to paste it into there. So far, so good. Now, in order to make this responsive, we need to be able to somehow fix it so that it's inside another frame, which gives it the correct ratio and then allows it to flex forwards and backwards with the size of the browser. So we're going to actually wrap this line here up in another pair of codes. Now, rather than having you watching me type out these, I'll go back to the test lay, uh, the style sheet that's attached to this, and we can see that uh, from the previous uh, wrapper that I created, I've reduced it to smaller sizes so that it'll be a bit more obvious. And I've added these lines here. I've added two rules. The first rule is fixing it into the 16.9 perspective. And in fact, there's a grayed out hint here to tell you what it's doing and giving it padding at the bottom. The second, the second class rule is actually fixing the iframe that we've embedded that YouTube video so that it follows the size of this and maintains the correct proportion. So in order to do that, I need to wrap this up in the code. So what I do is I just go um, I frame. Let's see. I'll scroll up to see what it is I'm doing. Video wrapper. So I'm going to go uh, div class, and then I'm going to type in video. wrapper and then I'm going to close the bracket there and then of course at the end I have to close the div so I'm going to go close div forward slash div okay so I've wrapped up the iframe in the new rule that I've created see video wrapper and div so now when we look at this in the design, it looks pretty strange. If I look at it live, it's looking correct. And when I test it in the browser by pressing F12, it will play. In the following example, I'm going to demonstrate how to insert a video, an MPEG-4 in this instance, so that it responds the uh, to the size of the browser and being used. Wish, now, I've readjusted the style sheet of the responsive 